So it's not a sword level story that I got told about the uh, Sinking Red Lanterns by Zanaway that this dude who was really wise among the people after all the genetic experimenting and scientific type of weird guys have been put out on this island to have their free will away from everyone else. Um, he used to go out onto the beach every morning and watch the sunrise kind of thing and kill himself with a new day that was coming or whatever and communicate with the spirits or whatever. And this time after they'd sent these guys out to the island and they'd been out there for a while, he had this really uneasy feeling in him. And felt like something really bad was coming from the island. So we gathered together a council of the, the wise people or the people who ran the society at the time. And they had an oracle woman and so they asked the oracle woman to look at what was in the at the core of the feeling that this wise man was having. And she foresaw that this gigantic tsunami wave was coming that was going to bring down the whole continent. And so they communicated with extraterrestrials because they had a good relationship with extraterrestrials type thing for quite a long while. And there had been all this birthing of extraterrestrial souls onto the earth and what we have now like home birthing was how come we had such spiritual people living in the edge of Atlantis is because the birthing process was really beautiful and souls were coming in fully conscious. So uh, <clears throat> the big UFO mothership type thing was sent and some few thousands of people got off the continent. No idea how many went mass. And went to Egypt. And the rest of the continent went down and those people were like refugees. <clears throat> so I'm told this stuff in the context of I was a really spiritual guy who used to go out and tune in with the stars at the sunrise and all this thing. He gave the warning about the thing and gathered the people together to get on and take decisive action. Speak to the Oracle, who's apparently Rachel, and call the UFO and get the fuck out of there. So we went over to Egypt anyway and we were living among the Egyptian society and we are settling in and all that thing and we are interacting with their culture and learning their spiritual knowledge. And that reading went up to... So in that lifetime I was due to go inside in that big stone coffin sarcophagus thing that's in Great Pyramid and go through that initiation thing, which is essentially the Christ initiation thing. And only a few days before I would have gone into it, or that day when I was on the way around to go there or something like that, I was assassinated. And apparently the assassin was where it was just paid money for his addiction, whatever else to make some money. And apparently Rare got such a shock, an energetic shock of my soul for having done that to me just when my soul was about to do something that my soul was really into doing. He got stung with a remorse for the first time. It was the first time in my lifetime that he'd ever felt remorse for having killed somebody. And that set Rare onto a spiritual journey according to the reading of the And so there are all these funny little stories from me around Bastion video. You know, not just forgiveness is some fucking word that's supposed to be good for your spiritual progress, but forgiveness is. Fucking hell, wow, man, we really don't know what we're doing, do we? We don't know who we're talking to, we don't know why we know each other. We don't know what the connections are that make you feel connected to people who may well betray you later in life or any of these things that may happen. So no one's is in, within the context of all these various past life researches as well. So anyway, in that story about just the continent falls, Britain and Ireland are like two islands that chip off from the continent but don't put down, and they drifted over. As the continent goes down, they get pushed away from where the continent is going down, they get pushed over towards Europe. Ireland. 
Christians in. And so the Irish stories talk about the Tuesday Bannon and the Formarians. And the Formarians are like the genetically engineered type dudes. Or animal heads. That kind of deforms depiction and one of their kings is a guy called Balor and he's called Balor the evil eye. And over his evil eye, which is like a cyclops eye, over that is this metal shutter. Oh. And if they lift off the shutter, his eye is like a laser. And it just burns people to smithereens. Whereas the two straight down in there is said to be of a very high wisdom. Mm. And not massively into fighting, and not massively into wounding you. More into the, just working in these higher realms. So there you get into it. The Irish memory is like. The Irish memory has seen all this stuff before. Has experienced all this stuff before. And wherever it came from, there's this myth in me as well about uh, covenant. So Britain. Brit means covenant in Hebrew. So Britain is the land of the covenant. And the British people are the people of the covenant. And that's the covenant with God. And that covenant with God is the covenant that God made with the inhabitants of earth after the deluge, after the flood. If the flood was because you're being wicked, so he's not going to ever send the flood again. But all these issues will come up again into consciousness. All that stuff that caused people to sink themselves down into the unconscious, that stuff will all come up again. And when it comes up, next time it won't be drowning in flood, next time it will be purged and plain. So at the end of time, the Holy Spirit comes and it burns up whatever is not truth until there's no not truth left. And this cycle we've been in since the fall of the Dantus up until now. The cycle in which people can own comprehending what is free will and what is creation and what is miscreation. What is the law of nature and what's a perversion of that law. And what's the repercussions? And the repercussions that become obvious are a fucked up class. And a fucked up society and just a fucked up society. On the one hand, and on the other far extreme, those that live on the earth that live in uh, integrity, and the stuff we create out of integrity is beauty, but that beauty is attacked by the polarity of this existence. concept of that myth of the covenant with God says that when all this stuff comes up again, don't fight. If you fight it, you'll go down with it. If you don't fight it, then the Holy Spirit won't do you any harm. So that's a bit like the tsunamis that happened a few years ago. If one falls into fighting against what's wrong, then one has fallen. And if one has fallen, then the Holy Spirit's going to burn the fuck out of you. If you don't fight it, you just hold to your integrity and live and think and speak truth. Not quoting any highest truth from the best book, just living in simple truth. And just living in simple truth and the Holy Spirit isn't going to burn anything out of you that you're not quite happy to lose. So the process that's going on in the minute is the Holy Spirit is burning out all the faults that the world has put into us through our experiences. And anyone who clings to the faults is going to get burned, which is the risk we'd say, which is what happened to Steve, which is what happened to everybody ever since time began. 
only difference that we're excited about these days is that these might well be the very days in which Holy Spirit comes and burns all the evil shit out of the planet, which is really only out of human minds. Burn all the shit out of human minds, then there is no environmental problem anymore because it's a holographic universe, dude. And heal all that stuff that's happened to the environment in no time once the demons start polluting the whole thing. And the demons are the coagulation of our thoughts that have built up all over all this time. So that's 17,000 years ago, yeah? Only 2,000 years ago, you've got this story that comes from all this stuff, soul reading stuff. And this story says, well, historically, what the Irish wise people know is that we have the stories of the Tutorithana, and those stories go back the same 5,000 years that the Old Testament goes back. But they tell the stories of what was going on among our people in our lands. They tell about our gods and goddesses and they tell about the series of invasions that came to our lands that became our history. And it tells of these people coming from the Middle East, travelling across Europe and aiming to try and take over Britain and Ireland. So in the fall of Atlantis, the consciousness of the Tutankhamun didn't go down. didn't become submerged in the waves, didn't become unconscious, didn't become subconscious. So all those souls retain the soul memory of what was the life issue back at that time. And they've continued on learning since then. It would seem that for about 12,000 years, all those souls that had gone down went round and round in the washing machine of karma. And it took them 12,000 years to regain consciousness of their issues, but they didn't regain consciousness of it, they regained subconsciousness of it. They started acting out their subconscious. So they started acting out the whole dilemma all over again. So they started rediscovering all their old skills. They started mining to make computers. And they started mining in a slow, easy going kind of way. So, in the old Irish stories, <coughs> you've got the Formarians. Not all the bad guys went down either. So you've got bad guys who do know what they're looking for and do know what it is they want to regain, who still have the same intent they had 17,000 years ago and have learned nothing since about changing their ways. And that's what people call the One World Government and the secret cabal and the Azkazarek Jews and the every underhanded, invisible, behind-the-scenes, black, dark entity that could be controlling people from higher multidimensional levels and as deep down the rabbit holes you want to go, the fucking rabbit hole goes, man. Because we've been here for millions of years, in consciousness. And yet in our conscious minds we're fed all this history and education stuff that denies any of that. And so anyone who's remembering the stuff we do really know gets castigated as a lunatic and either sidelined or sectioned or arrested or criminalized in order to survive. And that's the state of things for the King of the Fairies in the mythic realm living in Bastonby after the eclipse in 1999 heading towards the end of time. 